have fun Do what I do and go with the flow Go with the flow Just have fun Do what I do and go with the flow Go with the flow I want to have fun Classic Rick and Morty adventures Like in the old days Welcome back to Fandom Pop, and let's go! Today we're talking about Rick and Morty Season 4, Episode 3, which, by the way, there's not going to be an episode next week because of a little holiday called fucking Thanksgiving. Thank you for not giving me more Rick and Morty video content to make in the month of November, but that's okay. We only have a couple more days left for this Rick and Morty month, but I will try to make a video for each episode and that will that'll probably be it. Maybe I'll do like a final season video type thing, like a, a review of the whole season. I don't know yet. We're, we're kind of just going with the flow. Do what I do and just go with the flow. Do what I do and go with the flow. But uh, let's talk about this episode. Um, I, I actually didn't know if I wanted to do a video about this one, not only because I just didn't like it as much, but like, I really didn't think I had that much to say because the whole idea of this episode is that it is a parody on heist movies. So it's parodying a lot of the Oceans movies, you know, I've seen like Italian Job and a lot of these other movies that it's parodying. And it's also parodying movies like Indiana Jones, that's more towards the beginning of the movie. It's really trying to make fun of heist movies. This is like a... Out of the 20-some minutes of this uh, episode, I would say more than half of it is just making fun of heist movies. 90% of the dialogue is just making fun of heist movies. And for me, Rick and Morty, whenever they like really tackle an idea or a topic or a subject matter that they're going to make fun of, it's more of a deconstruction. Even the not-so-good ones, even like the Vindicators, I know people don't like that episode, but it was like kind of a deconstruction upon superheroes. This felt much more like a parody. It felt like they're gonna do a heist story while just making fun of heist stories every step of the way. Basically what happens is Morty is writing his own script for a heist movie, which of course he's trying to pitch it to Netflix because of course they're going to pick it up, but in the meantime, Rick is trying to enter this secret Indiana Jones cave. He has like this booby suit, like that would just deflect all booby traps. I think that is a funny idea. I laughed at that bit. They basically just walk up right up to the secret treasure and then they're like, oh, someone beat us to it. It's my arch rival. And so basically he goes to walk up to his arch rival at HeistCon. HeistCon is literally just a parody of Comic-Con. They have like inside jokes about Comic-Cons and cons in general. And basically, Rick can't get in. He needs to have a heist. He needs to have his heist buddy. So he goes and gets his crew. And basically every single one of these crew members is like, you son of a bitch. And they're like, I'm in. I think that's funny. Like we're still not beating the dead horse quite yet. Like the episode is still pretty funny. These characters that they make up for this little part aren't really funny to me, but like Mr. Poopy Butthole comes back for one of them. I still don't understand the relationship with this character. It makes no fucking sense what they are doing with this character. He's basically there just to fill up rando spots. I love it. I love this character. Basically, he's teaching at a fucking school and then like has to like beat up his students because it's it's all part of the heist, man. It's all part of the plan. But Rick gets in because he has a crew now. He's like, ah, see you later. Goes to confront this uh, arch rival of his. He has apparently a Doctor Strange lab coat. Like I didn't know his lab coat had fucking superpowers. So him and this guy are basically gonna have a heist off and basically this turns into a very elaborate joke where they're always 10 steps ahead of each other and I'm just gonna breeze through the rest of the plot here. Rick then makes like these two robots like a heistatron thing and it, it the heistatron thing uh, basically betrays him because of course it would and then like the joke is like Rick is always even 10 steps ahead of the heistatron and like it turns into this elaborate giant heist thing and by the end of the episode you're just kind of left like okay they got you know when someone tells you a joke and then like it's funny it's really funny and then they just keep going and they don't stop that that's what this entire episode felt like i was much more interested in the subplot of morty writing a script for netflix and then they 
basically uh, accept it because of course they do. And then after the whole episode, Morty's just like, man, fuck heist. And then he's like, whatever, Rick, we'll just do whatever the fuck you want to do. You win. And Rick just kind of like smiles into the camera, wink, wink. And that's how the episode ends. Uh, and that is also a parody on the joke of the title, which is a parody of One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest. Basically, the whole thing went over Morty's head, man. And a big part of the joke is that, like, you know the movies it's talking about, you know the tropes it's addressing, you know all of these other things, but personally, like, I like heist movies, I like any kind of, like, big Operation Thief movies with, like, these cool characters who, have, like, have these very quick backstories and all these other tropes. But, like, I don't watch enough of them for, like, these jokes that, like, immediately be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Like, they're just kind of, oh, yeah, that's funny, that's funny. There's nothing in this episode that was, like, really brilliant. There was no, like, big Rick and Morty moment that, like, really hit you. Out of this season, it's easily the worst episode. I want to say it's, like, within the top three worst episodes of mine. But, you know, that's just me. Uh, not every episode is gonna head it out the park. It's still like a decent episode for like a normal TV show. They still pack it full of references and pack it full of things here and there. Uh, there's a lot of Indiana Jones, like there's a crystal skull and all that kind of stuff. I like it. And Rick and Morty is like really fast paced comedy mixed with like the a million ideas it throws in there. Usually, you know, it's a good blend, but sometimes when you're just not into the joke, it kind of just feels like a lot of shit being thrown at a wall and you're just you're just standing on the side of the wall just like, okay, are you, are you gonna fucking slow down here at any time soon? In all these other episodes, I've like been comparing the characters like to other moments that they've had in the series. Like Morty, this is not his best episode. Rick, this is not his best episode. All Summer, who we've barely seen this season, not in this episode at all. Beth and Jerry, no, no, no. Like, Mr. Poopy Butthole, he has his moment to shine, but that's really it. Like, I do like that it, even in the after credit scene, he's like, oh man, I wish I didn't get fired from my job after I beat up my students. And then Rick's like, oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. I like that he has like that demeanor. He's always that like, I'm cheerful, but like I have like this really dark, sinister, melancholy side to me that like will just break out and he'll just be like writhing on the floor at some points. I love that this rando character has like this weird emotional depth. But other than that, not, not a whole lot to say about this episode. Um, I, you can tell I'm doing a more casual format. I don't have like my nice microphone. I, I, I was debating doing this video, but I did have enough things I wanted to say about it. And I did want to cover each episode, you know? I, I stuck to it. I stuck to my Rick and Morty month plans. But uh, that's what I thought of Rick and Morty season four, episode three. It was a decent episode. I do hope when they come back after the Thanksgiving break that they'll have some more juicy Rick and Morty video content, especially since there's only two fucking episodes left. I'm still upset about that, but until next time, thank you so much for watching, and with that, I leave you. Enjoy the toilet!